Hello, everyone. My name is Pedro Pacheco. I am a solution engineer with DataStax. Today, I want to show you how you can build a RAG application in five minutes using Langflow. If this sounds too good to be true, hang around for the next five minutes and you'll be impressed with the results. So what is Langflow? Langflow is an awesome open source Python-based application that allows users without any coding knowledge to assemble together RAG applications from prototype to production in a matter of minutes. Let's check in on the requirements. My orders are to create a RAG application that will allow your commander to ask questions from classified documents without having to read the entire report. You must be operational today, and you must not use a public LLM because I'm dealing with very sensitive data. In order to achieve this, I have broken down the requirements into main flows. The first one is an ingestion flow, where I'm going to read the file. I'm going to split the file into chunks, into smaller segments. I will use a locally hosted embedding model to create a vector representation for each chunk, and I'll save them to the vector database. Once that's ready, I'll have a chat completion flow. We'll ask a question, we'll prompt the user for a question, we'll vectorize the question using the same model that I used to vectorize the chunks. I'll retrieve the semantically similar documents, chunks from the vector database. I'll do some prompt engineering uh, using the retrieved documents, and I'll send the prompt to the model. Once the response comes back, I'll parse the response and print this back to my commander in natural language. Sounds simple enough. Now, depending on my experience, I can spend a few hours to a few days putting this together. What I'll show you next allows you to build these two very complex flows in a matter of minutes. So let's get started. I will navigate to Langflow's UI and I'll click on New Project and I'll select a blank flow. I'm going to start with the file component followed by my Olama embedding component, a char splitter component, and last but not least, the AstroDB database. Great. Now I need to select my file. Here's my top secret file. I need to change my model to use Nomic. I certainly could use Llama. I prefer Nomic. Nothing changes on the char splitter. For the AstroDB component, there's a little more configuration. Now, I already saved this ahead of time. I have my token. I have my database endpoint. And I have the collections, which I'm going to call my secrets. Now I have to connect them together. The file feeds in to the text splitter. The output of the text splitter feeds in to the database. And also the embedding model feeds into the database. Believe it or not, that's all there is to it. I'll just double check and make sure everything is working OK. Just by selecting this run component here, it shows me or no problems, no configuration problems. Now, I can certainly run this from here. But rather than do that, let's run this from code. I think that's a lot more interesting. So now I'm over on my code editor, and I simply drag and drop some Python code with some configuration. So what this Python code will do is read the configuration that I already provided. There's many ways that you can do this. I just chose the simplest possible way. And then I created a run flow function that will call my flow, which is right now hosted by Langflow. All that I need to do now is run it. So now Langflow is going through the process of taking my flow, reading my PDF file, chunking it, using Nomic embedding to embed the document, and then saving this to the vector database. 
Oh, and now that it completed, what I'll do is go back into my Astro database, select my vector database, go into my data explorer, and I'll see that I have a collection that has been created by my flow, and this collection has the chunk of the document, as well as the vector representation for each one of those chunks. That's it. That's simple. We are almost done. Let's work on our check completion flow. Again, I'll create a new project, and it'll be a blank project. I prefer to drop in all the components that I'm going to need first, so I will start with a chat input, and then I'll use my embedding model from Olama. Now it's very important that the same model is used, so I'll change Llama to Nomic. Next, I need my AstroDB search, because rather than writing, we are searching the database. I need that to go into a text output. From the text output, we'll go into a prompt, so we can do some prompt engineering. From the prompt, it will go into a chat completion model. In this case, I'll leave Llama in there. Last but not least, because we're building a UI component, I need a chat output. Now let's do some configuration and connecting components together. These are pre-saved values from my token and my database endpoint and my collection, which happens to be called my secrets. The input value is whatever question I've asked, and I need to use the embedding models, and again, it's very important that you use the same embedding model. From here, the results will go into my text output. Now, before I connect my text output to my prompt, I need to provide a prompt. And here's a very simple prompt that I put together. You can certainly be a lot more creative and a lot more efficient on your prompt engineering. This tells me that I can use the content, which is the output for my text, and then the question, which comes all the way from the initial input. Perfect. We are almost there. All that I have to do now is connect the output of my text to the message. And this is it. Now let's run this. On our previous example, we ran the flow through an application, which is certainly possible in this case. All that I'd have to do is go into the API. From the API, I can choose one of the options. I'll choose the Python API, copy this code, drop it into a Python application, and run it. The only thing that you would need to do is tweak, meaning uh, particular values that I expected for the flow would have to be replaced with the actual values, such as the model name, the text name, etc., etc. But in this case, just wanted to show you the capabilities of running this through the UI. All that I have to do is click the Run button, and now I'm going to ask the model a question. And let's see what the model knows about the secrets that I just told it. And here's my answer. Wow, it turns out that the secrets that I'm teaching the LLM are, have nothing to do with national security. It's simply my grandma's secret apple pie's recipes. So this is it. Now I hope this shows the capability of the product, how you can go from just an idea a full-blown application in a matter of minutes. Thanks for listening.